Hi friends, how are you? I hope you well and present. Before I start this video, I just want to make a quick announcement that next week on the May 20th, Thursday, 9 a.m. Los Angeles time, I'm going to be one of the speakers at Paris International Film Festival talking about resilience, creativity, filmmaking, and motivation, things like that. I'm going to have the conversation with Paris International Film Festival President Jenna, and then towards the end, we are going to have a Q&A session. And this whole thing is going to happen through Zoom virtually, so you can join us wherever you are. I'm going to leave the link to the Eventbrite RSVP uh, link down below and you can check that out. I really hope you can join us and be part of the conversation and let me know what do you think. Um, okay, now get to the video and uh, as usual, the timestamp is in the description down below. So today I'm going to try to do a little bit differently uh, for this video and I'm going to do my own thing and then chat along with you a little bit. Um, I have been planning on reorganizing this room for a long time and I bought this bookshelf. I want to put it right here for a long time and I never get a chance to do it. And um, I think I'm going to do it today. I don't know how long this video is going to be but I'm going to put a timestamp as usual down the description so you can skip certain parts to save your time and today I want to chat something that I have been thinking for a long time uh, it's about the similarity of procrastination and motivation I feel we always have a lot of misunderstanding on these two things so I'm going to start to making my bookshelf and then yeah, and the chat alone if you're interested in this topic. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, oh, I actually prepared some notes about today's talking. I wrote the notes during the break at my day job um, in order to save time. It's been tough to have a day job because I have been taking on extra shift. I want to get health insurance as well as my film need money so bad and I, I want to be able to support myself. I'm going to um, chat with you while I'm building this bookshelf and I'll organize all my books. I have no idea how it's going to work yet. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do that. It seems very easy to build this. Okay. Um. <gasps> what? I really like the smell of, I think you call it Paul Sandal. It reminds Mm, my childhood, the smell that you smell in Chinese New Year, as well as mm, the time when people start visiting uh, the past ancestors at the cemetery, 
and then the incense they burn smells just like this. Feels really good. As I mentioned before, I have been working at my day job for a long time. Uh, I have been taking an extra hour, so I have a lot of seven, eight hours days at my day job. And um, usually I woke up at five o'clock. I went to day job at six or 6.30 and then um, I'll be home around four o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm very tired because my job uh, is actually quite physically demanding. So basically I did 20 hours per week during film festival period and they start picking up right after the film festival which I haven't recovered from the um, exhaustion from communicating with people or that. I find myself had an enormous hard time to work on my stuff uh, Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I'm totally procrastinating all the time and then that feeling doesn't make you feel very good. Procrastination tends to happen right uh, before you're trying to start something new or you got knocked off your own regular routine and then you're trying to get back on track. I think you probably can tell from my previous videos that I have been struggling for a long time. Um, procrastination is just this kind of um, beast that everybody deal with. I used to really uh, have a lot of self negative talk with myself about my procrastination because I thought it's only me and that I kind of um, equal procrastination as being lazy but that's not true and uh, I think that's the first step we need to kind of figure out about um, procrastination uh, we have to be able to accept the fact that everybody deal with procrastination main reason is because of the resistance I think I have mentioned uh, Stephen Pressfield's book uh, in the previous video that he talked about the resistance and if you're interested in productivity or creativity you probably already stumbled across the material about um, why uh, we all have resistance about things that we do please comment down below if you also fight with procrastination all the time then probably time you feel much better and you feel uh, you are building a momentum and keep going and then something happened knock you off the track and then you start procrastinating again at least that's how I feel let me know if that's how you feel please drop a comment down below I'll definitely reply you and then support you um, I hope my comment session could be a place that we kind of encourage each other yeah, so what I find very interesting is the only way to fight with procrastination is first of all taking care of yourself. When I say taking care of yourself, I don't mean just let yourself to do whatever you feel like. Um, I could feel like watching, binge watching TV show or watching YouTube video for the entire day and then that's just gonna make me feel even bad about myself so when I say taking care of yourself is kind of you have to force yourself to do things that's actually taking care of your well-being um, even it takes a little bit of willpower to do things like that oh no I think I stripped this this thing okay, I need to I always over screw things and then this thing is completely stripped. So when I saying taking care of yourself, I mean completely slow down, play some your favorite music, some like me, I like some slow music, and then make a cup of coffee or tea that you really like. Um, tell yourself it's okay. I'm going to spend this two hour to just be quiet, be still as much as I can 
you can use the time to drink some tea, take a bath, play some music, light a candle. I know it sounds a little cliche, but it really works. For some reason, those things mix together. It brings a sense of peace and also evokes a lot of emotion that you have been suppressed for so long when you are overwhelmed. And、um, I find it's very helpful to do things like that.、Uh, I try to do that often, every single time when I feel overwhelmed or when I have thoughts in my mind, kind of、um, saying bad things about myself, like "Oh, you're so lazy. You haven't get things done." Things like that.、Um, the main goal is to soothe my mood. Um, usually, I would do most of the time. I do that in the morning or in the evening. If it's in the evening, I would take a bath. And if it's in the morning, I would bring my favorite coffee and then start、um, journal. And I just write whatever it's come to my mind. And then、uh, I find if you do the first step, you kind of、um, calm down a little bit. When the stress went away, you gain the clarity of what's the next step that you need to do,、uh, which is very helpful.、Um, the kid is so cute right now. I really want to show you, but I don't have actual camera. I'm gonna film it on my iPad. I really want to show you this. Excuse my bed; it's really messy right now. I dump all the books on the bed. See. This is so cute. So yeah, I was talking about the first step is to soothe your mind, soothe yourself,、uh, your emotion, and calm down in order to gain clarity. By the time when we're talking to ourselves in a very negative way, if we have things like thinking like. Why are you doing this again? Why are you so lazy? Why can't you just finish that thing? Why can't you just sit down and write? When we talk to ourselves in that way, it means that we have already suppressed so many emotions and the stress that our brain is not having any clarity at that moment. And in that kind of state, there's no way we can create anything well. So we have to clear our mind and bring up the emotions first in order to boost our creativity. I hope that makes sense. Let me finish this one before I keep talking. So after you clear your mind and feel comfortable, and don't give yourself like in endless time to just like self care. But set a time. I think usually two hours of listen to music, chill, and journaling. It's totally enough for me to kind of calm down a lot. If I, of course, during those time, no digital at all, because、uh, digital watching videos or checking social media will ruin those calm sense of calm that you have. And、uh, after、um, you done with the self care step, I think the next thing is to think about what's the next small step, the small things that you can do. I usually in those cases because I have so many day job works, I start thinking about lately like what's the one thing I need to get it done today, and、uh, that will make me feel good. A lot of time in my mind will still go. Oh, I have task one, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, and、uh, so many things I need to get done.、Um, I know what's the most important things I need to get done in that day. But even when I I'm working on that thing, in my mind is still thinking about other things. So I try to shift my mind to think that I'm not allowed to talk trashy about myself. If I get that one thing done, if that one thing is kind of a little bit bigger, let's say if it's gonna take thirty minutes, then I will tell myself that if I only do fifteen minutes, if I only get halfway down, I'm not gonna be allowed to say anything bad about myself 
to myself. Um, of course, you never shouldn't say anything bad to yourself, but that's just a way I talk to myself to make myself feel a little bit more um, focused on what I'm supposed to do. I hope that makes sense. It works so well. Um, what's very interesting is in this whole process, I find that because I do it one day at a time, I start getting more and more motivation each day. Um, I start reading a book called Motivation Myth. Uh, it's very interesting. It's kind of similar as what I'm talking about right now. In the book, it has this concept of that we, let's say, watch you watch this video in order to get some motivation. Sure, you will. But those motivation is very limited and it's temporary. Next day, you wouldn't feel the same way. And then the sustainable motivation is actually not something that comes from outside. It's not from a book you read, a video you watch, a speech you heard. It's not from any of this. Um, it's from uh, the things you're doing. It's more proactive. And it doesn't matter the thing is big or small. It only matters of how are you doing it. Um, are you making the little progress? If you learn to reward and like uh, congratulate yourself, even just for doing five minutes thing, uh, gradually you're gonna have more and more motivation. Um, I do feel uh, recently each day I have start building the momentum of doing things uh, even a couple weeks ago it's a, it's a, such a struggle for me to just get even sending one email and um, uh, lately I start just encourage myself just wait through that contract for one time you can celebrate for today or just go through those two email and then respond to them and then you'll be fine today and uh, I have been talking to myself like that and then gradually I find myself start taking on more tasks even when in the day I set myself one task that's something that I must finish and I get that done I feel like I still got extra energy I can write something I can do a little bit extra work and uh, I don't think that's just coincident of at that moment I'm ha like having enormous motivation I think it's because I have been building the momentum of getting things done and then the fact that I feel proud of myself I feel good about my small accomplishment motivates me to do more uh, if you have been to countryside you should have seeing those like really traditional grind that are made out of stone uh, i'm going to put pictures right here um, so it's those kind that uh, are two stones stacked together and then people put beans or things in there in order to grind them and in the beginning when they're trying to grind that thing it's very difficult it uses enormous force Sometimes you might need a couple people to start it. Um, when they go step by step and uh, one inch at a time, when they ground more and more, it gets smoother and it gets faster. And then it's mo much more easy to keep the momentum. I think it's the same thing. Um, a lot of time we just wish we magically stop procrastinate immediately because of we get motivated by something and then we become this whole creativity machine and that will never happen this video is going to be so long another example i can use about this is youtube channel when i start my youtube channel it's so hard for me to just find an idea or get it done it took me several hours to just put my clothes on, setting up my camera, put my eyebrow on, things like that, to film a video. Usually it takes two, three hours. So when I know I'm going to film a video, I budget about um, six hours-ish to do so. And then when I feel I'm going to edit a YouTube video, I usually budget 20 hours to editing the video, which is insane now I'm thinking about. 
But that's how you start something. Starting something always feel very difficult. It's very slow. And then gradually, I start much more easier to find the topic to talk about. I find myself start having the momentum of, oh, it's a time to film YouTube video, let's just do it. There's less hesitant between uh, decide to do it and then do it. I realized most of the stuff that sabotaging ourselves are things that's in our mind. Of course, you can watch video, get inspired, but the most effective way of doing things is just start doing it, uh, even just a little step. And it gradually you will feel much better and doing more and more. So anyway, I start thinking about how similar it is uh, in terms of motivation and procrastination. It almost feels this two state of mind is in two sides of one spectrum. And the one side is to be extremely motivated, get a lot of things done. Another side is extremely self-deflated is that a word deflated? And the, in this spectrum, it works exactly the same way. If you procrastinate a little bit today, you are going to feel bad about yourself. And the next day, it's less likely for you to pick up something. And uh, if you procrastinate the second day, and you feel even worse, and then it just go a downward spiral, and next day more procrastination, and next day more procrastination, you're almost building a momentum as well to get worse and go worse. And then um, now I understand that it's just a spectrum and then they work the same way. If I don't want to procrastinate tomorrow, I just do a little bit today and then uh, I kind of shifting my energy back on the positive side of the spectrum a little bit each day and then gradually I'll get to the point of have much more motivation to get more things done to be more creative. And then if I start to like, I'm going to just procrastinate this one thing today and then uh, that might guiding me to the negative direction. I hope I'm making sense. So I find that if you keep this in mind, you will feel much better when you like have much more clarity about yourself when you do things or not doing things. And then you know how to get yourself out of that extremely uncomfortable, dreadful self-hatred mode. Um, and by no means that's an extremely bad thing, everybody has been there. So please don't beat yourself up about it because you are there. I have been there, I continuously get back in there. So I think it's just a matter of when you get to that direction, if you can be able to realize it and then recognize um, what you can do to shifting back to the other side of the spectrum gradually. All right, I have been talking so much and I have been doing this so slow. I'm going to hurry up, finish it. This is another great example. I want to build this thing for such a long time and uh, I want to organize everything my life i want to organize my computer i never have a good habit to organize my digital stuff and then i also want to rebuild my calendar digital and then paper system and then also i want to reorganize this room and plus reorganize my thoughts about things i think i got this shelf probably like a month and a half ago and i keep telling myself that i'll choose one day that i'm not working at a day job to be my organizing day. I'll clean up all my computer digital stuff. I'll build the shelf, organize this room, and I will set up some special um, planning system. And then later I realized that's just a fantasy. It's like, I haven't been doing any of those things for such a long time. Why would I suddenly do it all at once? So I sort of gave up on um, doing them all, but I started to do a teeny tiny bit at, at a 
each day. I start organizing my thoughts. I start gradually journal 15, 30 minutes each day a little more. And when my thoughts start getting a little bit clearer, I feel, oh, it's time I'm going to start using my physical planner again. And then I just do one day at a time. And then now I start to get comfortable about my physical planner. And now I start thinking about today is a good day. I'm just going to spend an hour to build this shelf. Am I not going to organize this entire room? But I'm going to organize this little corner that I want to put the shelf on and put some book up there. And perhaps a couple of days later, I might want to organize my Google Calendar again. Who knows? The fact that I stop fantasizing of doing everything all at once, I gradually actually doing more. I think this just perfectly uh, an example of what I was talking about building the momentum by doing a little bit at a time to shifting your back towards the direction you want to go. All right, I'm almost finished. So happy. Right. I still feel a little bit messy, but I kind of like it. What do you think? Alright. Hi. Booger. Booger. The flower is to start blooming again. It's the time of the year. Time goes by so fast, don't you think? Um. It's almost halfway of 2020, which is... Oh my god, I'm still saying 2020. It's almost halfway of 2021. I can't believe this. Um, yeah. Time just fly by. I, I don't know. <laughs> this video is going to be so long. And um, I'm, if you're still here watching the video, I'm very grateful for your patience and thank you for supporting me and I truly hope my chatting with you today is helpful in some way. Please let me know in the comment down below if this video is helpful or not and then, or you can share with us your experience of dealing with procrastination or how you stay motivated. I think it's going to be very helpful for all of us in this community. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful you watched this video. Thank you so much. Remember to join me at Paris International Film Festival next week, Thursday, 9 a.m. Los Angeles time. Link also down below in the description. And um, yeah, I'll see you next Friday. Be patient, be present, stay creative. Bye. Bye.